Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. It would help me out immensely. Now this video is a short tutorial video for the Radio Master Zuro Radio. Now we're going to take a look at the model display menu. Now this menu that we can we can set up, we can look push the telemetry button on our Zuro radio and get figures back from the radio that we set it up to, to display. So that can be the received signal strength, we can know what it currently is and what, it, what the lowest and highest was. It can also show you which global variable you're using. So if you were flying a glider, you could, um, if you wanted to look down, you could see which global variable is actually being used. So which rate or whatever global variable you set up. So it's, it's a very useful screen. I use it quite often. So let's switch over to the Zorro radio and take a look and I will show you how you set this up. Now let's take a look at the radio. You can see I've actually um, plugged the battery into my Taycan so we can see what's going on. If I hit the telemetry button, you can now see the, these are the live figures. So our receive signal strength is minus 50. We're on uh, radio frequency mode six and the power it's putting out at the moment is 10 watts. But if we hit the page button, we will then get the highest and lowest RSS and the uh, highest and lowest power that we used while we were flying. And I'm not sure if I've got another screen. Now that's the, the screens I've set up. Now let's come out of here, push return and go into the model key and then go across. And I'll show you where we set this up. We go to the last window. And there we go. Now I've in the options, you see there are three windows in all and you can see this one is not set up. Oh, there's four windows. So if we hit the enter button, we can choose numbers, scripts, bars, and I normally select the numbers. So now all you need to do is if you want to add something to one of the screens, you click enter. And if you hold the enter key down, you can select input, sticks, outputs. And most of the time you're going to, you could click the global variables like I mentioned earlier. So you can see which global variable is being used when you're in a certain mode. And the one we're most likely to use the most is the telemetry one. So if we push enter, you can see we can scroll through the, all the different telemetry function, uh, data that we're getting back and pick whichever one we like. So this is a very useful, I use this as I said earlier, if you will watch my channel when I'm doing a test so that I can see uh, what was happening with the, with the signal strength. So it's, it's a very useful window. So especially if you've got a telemetry receiver. So let's just come back to this. It takes a while to go everything to get back to zero. So if you want to get back to zero, you just click there. So let's just go through it again. We're going to return out of here. So you hit the telemetry button and you can see the current values and then we can go back and look and depending on how you set it up you can see exactly what uh, what the highest and lowest readings were. There we go that wasn't too difficult was it? Well I hope you found this video useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching happy flying bye for now. Thank you.